In this video, we'll add a ghost fly across the screen. Alright, so now we'll bring in a ghost into the game to scare our player. So this is the ghost I'm gonna bring in, which is just a, a cloth. And uh, in the game, we're gonna make it scary. Okay, so here we're going to go to the models folder and we'll create a folder and name it ghost and uh, uh, let's drop in this image into the folder and uh, create a material scary cloth M okay now I want you to go to Unity's asset store and uh, add the double-sided shader to your assets and import the assets here in Unity Package Manager, and you should see the assets you just imported. So that should be double-sided mesh, uh, double-sided shader, and let's just import it. All right, and then if you select the material you just created, and uh, we should be able to find uh, the double-sided mesh. So we can go to transparent and uh, uh, diffuse bump cutout okay and I'll drop this image for the diffuse map okay as you can see the material is transparent okay because our image is a PNG image okay so now we can go create a plan in the scene and uh, here we can see ghost and uh, we'll make it smaller and drop our um, material onto it. See, so this will create an interesting shape. And we can rotate it in 90 degree. Okay, and uh, we'll place it back. I kind of like the shadow, so that's why I do double-sided mesh. So, because in both sides, it will be um, you know, uh, showing up as a cutout object, so it will project an interesting shadow on the ground. So let's bring it out. Okay, outside of the window. And uh, whenever our player walk closer to this uh, glass wall, I want it to be activated and I want it to fly from one side to another side and disappear. That will scare our audience. Okay, so let's place it here for now and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and uh, let's create a few objects. So press F key to focus in. And then we're going to create a light, a first a point light. And uh, Okay, and for this point light, I'm going to place it in front of it so we can actually see this object. And don't make it too big, as you can see right now the range is too much. So I want to make it uh, smaller, the range is smaller. Um, just to cover this ghost. And also I make it intensely stronger. Something like this. All right. Then we can uh, create a spotlight, and we can place it uh, behind our ghost, and rotate it. Have a specific angle so we can drop some interesting shadow on the ground. Maybe lower it down. And I would uh, uh, increase the angle. Okay, so um, for the scene, we have a default directional light that is the entire lighting. Uh, later on, we're going to denate it. So right now, we can temporarily disable it to see the effects. Okay, so select the spotlight and maybe increase the range a little bit. Sorry, not the range angle a little bit more and increase the intensity a little bit more and let's check on 
soft shadow so we can see these shadows right the shadows drop on the wall on the ground and if we select all of these three and uh, if I move them see I kind of like the shadow drop on the ground maybe we can increase the intensity of the light a little bit more okay and then uh, we can select the ghost press F key and then create an empty object and we can say ghost uh, group and we all put all of these three objects in here okay uh, for this whole group what I'm going to do is I'll create an animation so I'm going to animate it let it fly from here to uh, here so across the scene so right here um, will be the initial pose okay so make sure you're in the ghost folder so whenever you create animation it will be in this uh, folder so now let's go to the animation tab and create the animation and we're gonna say ghost uh, fly All right and start to record a frame and then let's see how much time you would like it to fly across I want it to be short not too long so maybe just two seconds so that will be here 60, sec uh, 60 frames is one second so I would do 120 and uh, I would uh, make it fly across and get to the other side exit okay so now let's uh, test the play the animation and see if the speed is good yeah I think it's good it just fly very fast and our uh, player may not get a chance to see the detail okay so it's kind of scary okay so I'm gonna pause and um, and then I'm going to create a sound object so here I'm going to um, create empty so this will be the sound okay so here I'm going to say ghost uh, sound and here I'm going to add a audio source okay and go to the sound effects let's drop in the thunder sound effects in here and select the ghost sound and drop this sound clip onto it uncheck the play on week uncheck the loop okay we only want it to play once okay so that is the sound object and then here let's um, create a trigger so whenever our player enter the trigger the ghost will show up okay so here let's create a 3d cube and maybe place it uh, closer to the door and make it longer to cover this whole area the bedroom and the living room oops sorry and uh, make it higher okay so I'm going to uncheck the mesh render and check on its trigger so I'm going to rename this object as trigger ghost active okay and then let's uh, bring a script so I'll go to the script folder and let's drop in the ghost script okay so I'm gonna drop the ghost script onto the trigger and then here are the object we can apply so anime object basically is this uh, group uh, the ghost group that we have applied animator on it and then um, 
uh, this trigger is the trigger itself and the ghost sound will be here and there's a few things we want to modify so first is the animation so go to the animation controller double click open we don't want this animation to play by default as what we've done before so just create an empty, op uh, empty state set as the default state okay and for ghost fly this animation i don't want it to loop so uncheck the loop okay and also uh, if i go to the spotlight which is the light in the back okay i want it kind of uh, flashing instead of just a stay there active uh, so on this light I'm going to add a script so here let's go to the script folder and uh, remember we have used the flickering light in the uh, first few lessons so we're going to just drop in this script onto here okay and for max wait time you can see uh, 0 0.01 and then here 0.1 for uh, one is for mean one is for max okay so now let's give it a test oh wait uh, for the sound actually I want to change the setting a little bit so right now the distance is super big so I can change it to 15 and uh, Linear draw off and uh, uh, make it a 3D sound. Okay, so now we are set for everything. So let's do a test. Okay, so something is flying across. Hope that will scare your player. Now let's change the lighting setting and I will do a, another test. So I'm going to select the camera and uh, here make sure uh, the background color is a black color and solid. it. Okay, and uh, go to the render setting. Environment lighting and here for the color I'm going to choose black and uh, sky material I'm going to use a black color and for the source I'm gonna change it to color and uh, the ambient color as black color and for the reflections I'm going to do the custom so this will me make the whole scene entirely black uh, and also let's see if I go to the apartment here Remember, in the beginning, we have temporarily turned off this unit. So now let's turn it on and let's do a test. So here in the beginning, it's super dark and I ha I'll have to use the flashlights. Okay, and there's uh, some weird lighting here. Should be from, yes, from the ghost. Okay, so I'll we'll have to change it on later. So I'll open the door. And the book is working. Global is working. And yes, the ghost is working. 